What percentage of all emissions does road transport account for? 20%. Which is the sign for a ring road? Sign A, sign B, sign C, sign D. You are on a three-lane motorway and see this sign. It means you can use any lane except the hard shoulder, the hard shoulder only, the three right-hand lanes only, all the lanes including the hard shoulder. Where is the safest place to park your vehicle at night? In a garage? On a busy road? In a quiet car park? Near a red route? You are waiting to emerge at a junction. Your view is restricted by parked vehicles. What can help you to see traffic on the road you are joining? Looking for traffic behind you. Reflections of traffic in shop windows. Making eye contact with other road users. Checking for traffic in your interior mirror. Reflections of traffic in shop windows. Which shape is used for a give way sign? Sign A. Sign B. Sign C. Sign D. Sign D. Are passengers allowed to ride in a caravan that is being towed? Yes, if they are over 14. No, not at any time. Only if all the seats in the towing vehicle are full. Only if a stabiliser is fitted. No, not at any time. You are going through a long tunnel. What will warn you of congestion or an incident ahead? Hazard warning lines. Other drivers flashing their lights. Variable message signs. Areas marked with hatch markings.
Variable message signs. You are about to overtake a slow moving motorcyclist. Which one of these signs would make you take special care? Sign A. Sign B. Sign C. Sign D. Sign A. An adult casualty is not breathing. To maintain circulation, compression should be given. What is the correct depth to press? 1 to 2 centimetres. 4 to 5 centimetres. 10 to 15 centimetres. 15 to 20 centimetres. Four to five centimetres. New petrol engine cars must be fitted with catalytic converters. The reason for this is to control exhaust noise levels, prolong the life of the exhaust system, allow the exhaust system to be recycled, reduce harmful exhaust emissions. Reduce harmful exhaust emissions. How can you, as a driver, help the environment? By reducing your speed. By gentle acceleration. By using leaded fuel. By driving faster. By harsh acceleration. By servicing your vehicle properly. By reducing your speed, by gentle acceleration, by servicing your vehicle properly. What does this sign mean? Two-way traffic ahead across a one-way road. Traffic approaching you has priority. Two-way traffic straight ahead. Motorway contraflow system ahead. Two-way traffic straight ahead. Which four of these would be indicated by a triangular road sign? Road narrows. Ahead only. Low bridge. T-junction. Children crossing. Minimum speed.
Road Narrows, Low Bridge, Children Crossing, T Junction. What does this sign mean? Bend to the right. Road on the right closed. No traffic from the right. No right turn. No right turn. At a junction you see this signal. It means cars must stop, trams must stop, both trams and cars must stop, both trams and cars can continue. Trams must stop. To avoid a collision when entering a contraflow system, you should Reduce speed in good time. Switch lanes at any time to make progress. Choose an appropriate lane in good time. Keep the correct separation distance. Increase speed to pass through quickly. Follow other motorists closely to avoid long queues. Reduce speed in good time. Choose an appropriate lane in good time. Keep the correct separation distance. You are the first person to arrive at an incident where people are badly injured. Which three should you do? Switch on your own hazard warning lights. Make sure that someone telephones for an ambulance. Try and get people who are injured to drink something. Move the people who are injured clear of their vehicles. Get people who are not injured clear of the scene. Switch on your own hazard warning lights. Make sure that someone telephones for an ambulance. Get people who are not injured clear of the scene. You are on a motorway. When can you use hazard warning lights? When a vehicle is following too closely? When you slow down quickly because of danger ahead? When you are towing another vehicle? When driving on the hard shoulder? when you have broken down on the hard shoulder. When you slow down quickly because of danger ahead. When you have broken down on the hard shoulder. Why should you always reduce your speed when travelling in fog? 
The brakes do not work as well. You will be dazzled by other headlights. The engine will take longer to warm up. It is more difficult to see events ahead. It is more difficult to see events ahead. You are trying to move off on snow. You should use the lowest gear you can, the highest gear you can, a high engine speed, the handbrake and footbrake together. The highest gear you can. What type of vehicle could you expect to meet in the middle of the road? Lorry. Bicycle. Car. Motorcycle. Lorry. There is a slow moving motorcyclist ahead of you. You are unsure what the rider is going to do. You should pass on the left, pass on the right, stay behind, move closer. Stay behind. You are about to reverse into a side road. A pedestrian wishes to cross behind you. You should wave to the pedestrian to stop. Give way to the pedestrian. Wave to the pedestrian to cross. Reverse before the pedestrian starts to cross. Give way to the pedestrian. It is very windy. You are about to overtake a motorcyclist. You should overtake slowly. Allow extra room. Sound your horn. Keep close as you pass. Allow extra room. You are driving past parked cars. You notice a bicycle wheel sticking out between them. What should you do? Accelerate past quickly and sound your horn. Slow down and wave the cyclist across. Brake sharply and flash your headlights. Slow down and be prepared to stop for a cyclist. Slow down and be prepared to stop for a cyclist. 
You lose your way on a busy road. What is the best action to take? Stop at traffic lights and ask pedestrians. Shout to other drivers to ask them the way. Turn into a side road, stop and check a map. Check a map and keep going with the traffic flow. Turn into a side road, stop and check a map. You are driving along a country road. You see this sign. After dealing safely with the hazard, you should always Check your tyre pressures Switch on your hazard warning lights Accelerate briskly Test your brakes Test your brakes. You are driving on a motorway. You have to slow down quickly due to a hazard. You should switch on your hazard lights, switch on your headlights, sound your horn, flash your headlights. Switch on your hazard lights. You are travelling on a well-lit road at night in a built-up area. By using dipped headlights, you will be able to see further along the road, go at a much faster speed, switch to main beam quickly, be easily seen by others. Be easily seen by others. You are driving with your front fog lights switched on. Earlier fog has now cleared. What should you do? Leave them on if other drivers have their lights on. Switch them off as long as visibility remains good. Flash them to warn oncoming traffic that it is foggy. Drive with them on instead of your headlights. Switch them off as long as visibility remains good. What should you use your horn for? To alert others to your presence, to allow you right of way, to greet other road users, to signal your annoyance. To alert others to your presence. You should only flash your headlights to other road users. To show that you are giving way. To show that you are about to turn. To tell them that you have right of way. To let them know that you are there.
to let them know that you are there. You must stop when signalled to do so by which three of these? A police officer, a pedestrian, a school crossing patrol, a bus driver, a red traffic light. A police officer, a school crossing patrol, a red traffic light. Signals are normally given by direction indicators and brake lights, side lights, fog lights, interior lights. Brake lights. You are carrying two 13-year-old children and their parents in your car. Who is responsible for seeing that the children wear seat belts? The children's parents? You, the driver? The front seat passenger? The children? You, the driver. Car passengers must wear a seatbelt restraint if one is available, unless they are under 14 years old, under 1.5 metres, 5 feet in height, sitting in the rear seat, exempt for medical reasons. exempt for medical reasons. The most important reason for having a properly adjusted head restraint is to make you more comfortable, help you to avoid neck injury, help you to relax, help you to maintain your driving position, Help you to avoid neck injury. How does alcohol affect you? It speeds up your reactions. It increases your awareness. It improves your coordination. It reduces your concentration.
it reduces your concentration. Which of the following types of glasses should not be worn when driving at night? Half moon, round, bifocal, tinted. Tinted. On a long motorway journey, boredom can cause you to feel sleepy. You should leave the motorway and find a safe place to stop, keep looking around at the surrounding landscape, drive faster to complete your journey sooner, ensure a supply of fresh air into your vehicle, stop on the hard shoulder for a rest. Leave the motorway and find a safe place to stop. Ensure a supply of fresh air into your vehicle. You must notify the licensing authority when Your health affects your driving Your eyesight does not meet a set standard You intend lending your vehicle Your vehicle requires an MOT certificate You change your vehicle Your health affects your driving. Your eyesight does not meet a set standard. You change your vehicle. At which type of crossing are cyclists allowed to ride across with pedestrians? Toucan, Puffin, Pelican, Zebra. Toucan. The left hand pavement is closed due to street repairs. What should you do? Watch out for pedestrians walking in the road. Use your right hand mirror more often. Speed up to get past the roadworks quicker. Position close to the left hand curb. Watch out for pedestrians walking in the road. At night, you see a pedestrian wearing reflective clothing and carrying a bright red light. What does this mean? You are approaching roadworks. You are approaching an organised walk. You are approaching a slow-moving vehicle. You are approaching an accident black spot.
You are approaching an organized walk. David is feeling unwell. He has a really bad headache, and so he takes some paracetamol to relieve the pain. He has to drive to the airport to pick his brother up, a journey that will take him about three hours on the motorway. It's a really cold and overcast day, so David decides to turn on the dipped headlights. After a while, David starts to feel sleepy. Why should David check to see if the medication could cause drowsiness? For future information, should he not be able to get to sleep? Because he shouldn't drive if he's taken medicine that causes drowsiness. Because if it does, he will only take one to minimize the drowsiness. So he can take them well before he sets off. because he shouldn't drive if he's taken medicine that causes drowsiness. David is feeling unwell. He has a really bad headache, and so he takes some paracetamol to relieve the pain. He has to drive to the airport to pick his brother up, a journey that will take him about three hours on the motorway. It's a really cold and overcast day, so David decides to turn on the dipped headlights. After a while, David starts to feel sleepy. Is it necessary for David to use dipped headlights in daylight? Yes, to help him see other vehicles more clearly. Yes, to improve his view of the road. Yes, to illuminate road signs and help him see them more easily. Yes, so other drivers can see him easier in the dull conditions. Yes, so other drivers can see him easier in the dull conditions. David is feeling unwell. He has a really bad headache, and so he takes some paracetamol to relieve the pain. He has to drive to the airport to pick his brother up, a journey that will take him about three hours on the motorway. It's a really cold and overcast day, so David decides to turn on the dipped headlights. After a while, David starts to feel sleepy. Why is David feeling sleepy after driving for a while? Because he was late in bed the night before. Because long motorway journeys can be boring. Because he's been awake since early in the morning. Because he's been working hard all week. because long motorway journeys can be boring. David is feeling unwell. He has a really bad headache, and so he takes some paracetamol to relieve the pain. He has to drive to the airport to pick his brother up, a journey that will take him about three hours on the motorway. It's a really cold and overcast day, so David decides to turn on the dipped headlights. After a while, David starts to feel sleepy. What should David do to make him feel less sleepy? Drive slowly and have a cup of strong coffee when he gets to the airport. Drive quickly to relieve the boredom. Stop in a service area, drink a caffeinated drink and then take a short nap. Stop on the hard shoulder and take a short walk before setting off again. Stop in a service area, drink a caffeinated drink, and then take a short nap. David is feeling unwell. 
He has a really bad headache, and so he takes some paracetamol to relieve the pain. He has to drive to the airport to pick his brother up, a journey that will take him about three hours on the motorway. It's a really cold and overcast day, so David decides to turn on the dipped headlights. After a while, David starts to feel sleepy. What can David do to stop himself feeling sleepy until he gets the chance to stop? Open the window for some fresh air. Turn the heater up to full. Turn on the radio and sing along. Eat a chocolate bar. Open the window for some fresh air. 